Hello everyone, this is Tigo. With it having been 6 months since Windows 7 has been unsupported, uh, many computers by now have moved to either Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, both the newest versions of Windows still supported. However, I personally still use Windows 7 due to excellent app compatibility with pretty much every single app still supporting Windows 7, and much better compared to Windows Vista, Windows XP, or any other previous Windows versions when they became unsupported. However, I do have to wonder how long this perfect app compatibility lasts for. Uh, to answer this, we have to look at the official Windows support cycle for every Windows operating system in chronological order. For this video, we'll start off by going through the DOS line of Windows operating systems, such as the very early versions of Windows and uh, the Win9X Windows. Uh, Windows 1.0 was the very first version of Windows to release in 1985. However, given that the intent was just to simple, simply provide a graphical layer for MS-DOS, which was required to run Windows 1.0, it wasn't all that spectacular, although for some of its apps would be mainstays during Windows early days. Windows 2.0 from 1987 is similar to Windows 1.0 in that regard, as is Windows 2.1, the version of Windows that came right after that. Uh, despite these operating systems not being anything interesting to write home about, they all had support until the end of 2001, which again, given the nature of these operating systems, it's likely app support had long vanished prior to them being unsupported. Windows 3.0 um, from 1990 was the first version of, to have gained traction from Microsoft, with many software developers beginning to write apps specifically for Windows and not just the DOS that was required to run it. However, its popularity was quickly overshadowed by the that of Windows 3.1 from 1992, which helped solidify Microsoft's position in the software market, and was supported by many apps for several years. The two were eventually discontinued at the end of 2001 with dwindling, dwindling app support. Windows 95 from 1995 uh, was a milestone for Microsoft as it was the first to use a now standard desktop and de taskbar that has become essential for the Windows operating system. It might have been very popular then and it might still be very popular today, but there's a little known fact that it was only fully supported by Microsoft for six years, and its support ending around the same time as all the previous versions of Windows and their support. Uh, Windows 98 and 1998 is arguably by far the most popular of the MS-DOS based Windows operating systems, as well as the most popular of the Win9X series. As such, it retained support for 8 years, becoming uns unsupported by 2006, with there still being some good app support by then. Uh, Windows NME in 2000 is the complete opposite of Windows 98, um, being arguably the most unpopular of all the MS-DOS Win9X operating systems, if not the most unpopular of all Windows operating systems, with its many bugs and flaws. As such, it was only see 6 years of support, becoming unsupported at the same time Windows 98 did. It should be worth noting that since Windows 95, it's been very clear that there was a point where an operating system's mainstream support ends. This means you won't receive free technical support for an operating system after a certain period of time has been out. In the case of Windows 95, it had failed 5 years of mainstream support until 2000, followed by Windows 98 in 2002, and Windows ME in 2003. In general, when a product loses mainstream support, software developers usually end up taking processes to rewrite code so that, that certain software will lose support for an operating system between the end of its mainstream support to the end of its security support. Um, well, that's it for part one of this Windows lifecycle video. Uh, part two will be discussed this lifecycle for all the pre XP Windows NT operating systems. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you around.